Hello everyone, this is AJ Tatum with Tatum Digital Agency. In today's video, I just want to go over how to capture Gravity Forms data with event tracking. So Gravity Forms, as you know from previous uh, videos, is a pretty popular and powerful WordPress plugin for managing your forms. Uh, the one thing it doesn't come with out of the box though is event tracking. So it, it can't send events to Google Analytics or Matamo or any other an analytics service. Uh, so that way you, you can't really track conversions or events and, and whatnot. However, there is a plugin, a third party, and it's free. And it's called Event Tracking for Gravity Forms. I'll provide a link to this uh, in the description of the YouTube video. But for now, uh, basically what we want to do is I want to show you how you get started. So basically, after you install this plugin, when you go back to your WordPress admin dashboard, you go to forms and settings, and give it a new tab called event tracking. Here you can select the measurement protocol from Google. You can connect via Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. If you select either measurement protocol or Google Analytics, it's going to ask you to provide your universal analytics tracking ID. So, and using the measurement protocol, it won't ask you to install uh, any code or anything else. However, if you select the Google Analytics option, it will give you the option to install uh, the Google Analytics code for you. Um, what I want to focus on though in today's video is a way that I recommend, and that's using Google Tag Manager. So that's what I have selected here, and I also have it selected to track UTM variables. And I have it so it does not install the Tag Manager. I do that because I have another plugin that manages those, um, those scripts, and that is called the Header Footer code manager and I'll also have that in the blog post uh, for this video as well. So anyways once you have the tag manager you'll notice that it doesn't ask you for the universal analytics ID, it doesn't ask you for a Google tag manager work case ID or anything else. You have to basically set that up in Google tag manager. So I'll go ahead and show you how I have that set up uh, and that way you can kind of follow along. So I'm going to my tag manager and the first thing you want to do is you want to have go to triggers. And I'll show you. I have one that's called event GF track event. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to go to new and pretty much create an event similar to this. And you can name it whatever you you want. <laughs> uh, so I have event GF track event. The trigger type is a custom event, and the event name is GF track event fires on all custom events. After you have that trigger set up, you want to create some variables. And in total there's going to be about five variables. And they're all going to be going through the data layer variable. So you want to scroll down to user defined variables and click new. Then you're going to repeat this process five times. So you have the GF track category, and I'll show you this one right here. So basically, I have the variable type as data layer variable, and the variable name is GF track category. And I have that set up for the action, the label, the value, and the entry data. So once you have those set up in your variables, you want to go into your tags. And here I have Google Analytics Gravity Forms event. So you can go into here. So you, obviously before you do that, you, you'd go to new. Um, and I'll show you the, the configuration here. So I have the tag type as Google Analytics Universal Analytics. And then I have track type as event. And for the category, I have those variables that I've selected. I have the DL track category for category, track action for action, label for label, value for value. Um, and then I, I have it here, Google Analytics. Now, there's two options that you could do. 
Uh, you could select a variable that you have here like that. Um, but for this particular option, I decided to override the setting tag and put in my tracking ID right here. After you do that, you want to go to triggering and you want to select the event. So I have my event, GF track event, and basically it's going to trigger whenever um, that event pops up through, through a gravity form submission. Once you have that, you can go to preview. And when you go into preview, what that allows you to do and, uh, is actually kind of make sure that everything is set up and working. Uh, so and you know before you submit it, uh, and then afterwards you just do submit, and you would publish the changes to your site, and now you would be able to see the events and set up goals within Google Analytics. So it's a pretty quick and easy thing to do. Um, and I hope this video has been helpful. Please leave any comments or questions that you have below, and uh, thank you for watching.